Hello friends, welcome, welcome back to part five of Let's Build My Dream Home in The Sims 4. I'm not going to go into anything else. Hello, welcome, welcome. Sorry about the wait for this episode. Um, I've been so busy recently with just life stuff, so it's been hard just for me to get the time to film and edit and whatnot. But welcome, welcome, welcome anybody. I, anyway, everybody. I promise there won't be as many mistakes in this one as there was last time. Now, last time we got on with the living area, so this is what we managed to come up with. I have done a few things off of camera. I've put in some more details, and I've also semi-furnished everything in the sort of guest suite area where we were doing, and also in the um, office. I've done that area too. You can see I've put a bit of furniture going through into the corridor as well. Some people were saying this corridor was too long. Not in my eyes. Corridors are corridors for a reason. They do tend to be quite long um, from where I'm from. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not changing anything around in here. I'm happy with how long this corridor is. I like the flow through of the corridor from the main entrance straight into this little cheeky living room area. Um, I did modify just a few things. Still haven't found a lamp for over there. Uh, I've changed the big sofa or the two-seater sofa for a little armchair that I've put in the window there instead. Um, over into the guest suite area. So the guest suite is really, really simple at the minute. I haven't even got a bed frame. I've just literally just plonked a few things in here just so I can get a feel for how this place is going to look and whatnot. Um, obviously it's got its own ensuite bathroom area as well, which is really, really cute and really just simple, minimal, clean and to the point, which is how I like things to be. Um, down here. Is my office so into the office area again keeping it very minimal i've used kind of sound cancelling wall, uh, wall panels and flooring and stuff just in case i ever was to stream or record videos i've got a station here to do so which is um marvelous as far as i'm concerned but yeah i'm really really happy with the flow through with the corridor coming down through here everyone's saying like well, not everyone, but a few people have said, this is a really big lot that's going to take ages for your Sims to walk around. But the thing is, in which was the main aim of this whole build, and the main aim if I ever do want to uh, have my own dream home to be built, this whole area is all going to be connected in around. So this whole space in the middle is going to be like almost a communal area. And by doing that, that allows the living space to be connected around it to one big lot also then but in my eyes i this is how i would love my dream dream home to be if i was ever to be a millionaire or this is what exactly what i would go for i wouldn't go this much on scale if i didn't have the money nor funding to um do that but yes well, that's what we're gonna go now i'm gonna give you a rough estimation of what we're doing today i haven't we're gonna be uh, um making a start on the exterior of the barn so that is the main thing that we're going to be doing now and then we're going to come here and connect in around with obviously the media room that i was going to be doing and also the allotment we're going to put the allotment around here somewhere i'm not too sure yet now i haven't got any reference pictures or anything to how i want this barn to look i have got one here but i'm still unsure about it so i think i'm going to carry on build this up see what happens and we're going to go from there. I think that would be the best way to do it. Now, for the beginning, I'll make a start on... I'm unsure on how much I want this barn to come out. I do want this barn to house all the bedrooms. I would love four bedrooms in the barn area. So we're going to have to squeeze four bedrooms in here. Which would be quite easy. I am I think that might be a bit too wide. Let me see how many we've got here. We've got eight. So if I do eight there, we'll connect that through into there. And if I bring this down, how many have we gone here? We've gone down nine here. Um, well, not nine, but uh, nine. That's six, seven, eight, nine. That might be a little bit too small, but we're going to go with it for the minute and see what happens. I just need to get a footprint down first, and then I can start to sort of really make my mind up about how big I want this barn to be. Um, I'm thinking maybe just a tad longer. Tad longer here. Down to this area. Maybe a few more. Yeah, I think that might be sufficient. I think it might be sufficient there. Now, now that I've done this, I'm not really enjoying how close this barn is to the house itself. Um, but I'm going to carry on. We're going to carry on with it and see what happens. Now, that roof line, I'm not... I'm looking at a reference picture that I've got. I'm not really keen on that roof line. I think I'm going to keep this barn roof quite um, reminiscent of a barn that would be great 
I'm sure it's worth it to have one it taller than the house itself. I might even reduce the point at the top of the roof there. But we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. Um now that I'm doing this. Do you know what? I am going to do this and it will be taller, but I can use the short wall. Oh, there's no middle. Well, there is, but it's only two. Oh, well, we're just going to go for two. Two down to there, like so. This might have reaper cut, or I could actually go into four territory. Four territory with the roof line there. Now, this probably won't be usable. Might even do a glass roof on here. Is that too big next to the build? Is it swallowing it? kind of is but i think with architectural details i think everything will work out quite nicely um you're probably wondering adrian your hair's a different color yeah i that's what happens when a creative person gets bored and they work within a salon <laughs> it's just like oh i've got a couple of hours free let's do something with my hair so i got bored what i was trying to do or what i wanted to do was go to like a silvery gray color um so what i did was lifted my hair up all the color technician that did my hair. She lifted my hair up. Um, lifted my hair up to pre-tone it. So what, what she did, she lifted it up with bleach. And then we pre-toned it to a cleaner color. So the gray would go on easily just to cancel, cancel out any, any of the yellowy tones or whatnot. Um, but it, she pre-toned it and it went to this like mushroomy, like blonde color. And I really liked it. So I was just like, actually, let's just leave it there. <laughs> So we did. <laughs> and I really, really like it. I really do. Um, in fact, I'm going to change this roof here. I was going to do something with that, but it's just not going to work. We're going to change it for one of these. Um, and I might even slip in some glass roof in here somehow. I am unsure. But for today, I just want to try and get the scale and the shape of this build down without any of the details. It probably won't be the most exciting of barn of uh, parts. I will, uh, I will reiterate that fact. Reiterate? Reiterate? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that, darling. Okay. Right, next. <laughs> Do you know why I have to like, I was like, now! Or, right! Like, it scares people. Stop it, Adrian. Right, this one. Into there. Oh, I could put a little glass moment in there now that this is done. Oh, one second. Oh, sorry for that weird cut there. Um... I had to go and let somebody in the door. Um, yeah, I might even do like a a glass moment in there. Just a moment. Nothing, nothing special. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm still thinking this barn is a little bit too big for this lot, but I might just tweak that and stuff off of camera because I do not want to bore you guys with that stuff. And so many people say, "Oh no, it's not boring," but I know I wouldn't want to watch that <laughs> if I was ever watching a speed build. So. I think I'll keep it that way, darlings. Um, I kind of like the roof that shape. Now I'm looking at it. And it is the same kind of roof shape as the reference picture that I've got going. Now, what I probably will do, I'm just thinking now, is just pulling these areas over here. So if I sort of built that up to there, built that up to there, put that right across to there, and then the same again upstairs as well. So if I... Do that to there, that to there, and then pull that in around there. And then what I can do with these is pull in these shapes, bottom and top, giggity. Um, when should I do it? Yeah, we'll do it upstairs as well. We'll do it upstairs, and then the roof line will kind of hang out over the top of it. Oh, I don't enjoy how it does it there, but I can get rid of. Well, not get rid of it, but help that along just by doing this if i um let's just put you down there love up here up to there there we go is that right yeah we are lovely stunning that right okay what get off thank you yeah hmm hmm what if i bring these across let's have a little look yeah i think so Maybe that one as well. Because I could do double story there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for there. Yeah, and I'm unsure as to what wallpapers and stuff I'm going to pick yet. We'll go through that in a sec. Um, 
Won't be getting any of the interior done today for this because obviously it would take a hot minute to do that because it is obviously quite a large build. Um, right, we'll do what we did there and we'll pull you in that way. Yes, and then we'll do the same down here. It's kind of wasting space with these sort of like bits here, but mm, maybe we could make something of them. I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Right, I'm going to pull you in there as well. Uh, I don't like the way it's getting rid of the sort of flooring here, but I can sort that out in a sec. Yeah, I think so. I think this is where we're going to go with this. It would be nice if they left that flooring bit there so I didn't have to do this. I could just copy that one over there, really, couldn't I? To be honest. There we go. Little copy there. Little grid space here. Um, And I have got a base game only build coming out as well. I was going to bring it out today, but I'm just not finished. Done. I'm not done editing it yet. So I will be bringing that out this week as this week's speed build. So do keep an eye out for that, my lovely friends, because I think you're going to very much enjoy it. Um, do you know what? Now this is all together. And as soon as we've got this kind of connecting through here, the allotment, so this is a good size space for an allotment, actually. This media center is going to come in. I'm going to try and connect it in here somehow. So then that whole area is enclosed and it's a big courtyard area to do whatever you bloody may wish in. Yeah, I think so. Um, roof line, um, roof. I think we're going to stick with the black. Yeah, like that to kind of tie it in over there. Now it is a really different roof shape to everything else here, but we're going to try and make it blend in as much as possible. Um, I'm really unsure as to what I would like a wooden barn. I don't, I didn't download any custom content wood paneling. I think we've got some anyway. We've got this sort of peacemaker one here, but um, I mean that's really nice. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I want to go black with it you know i think i want to keep the barn looking quite natural so maybe using a lighter wood would look really cool because that looks really nice with gray this wood just comes in so many lovely tones um it really does i think this one here's the one i'm going to go for for the minute might change <laughs> i'm just going to keep reiterating that fact. i can't say that word <laughs> is it reiterating <laughs> yes <laughs> we're going to go for that <laughs> uh, God. Oh, but I think let's have a little look. Yeah, I do like this pet. I do like this timber. It looks really nice with this. Now I'm not um, using the shift key to put it all over everywhere because I'm just being quite picky of where I want to put it for the minute. Um and on the top there, lovely, lovely. I mean that looks nice. With loads of glazing. Imagine this with like tons of glazing, which is what it's going to have. Um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna snatch all your weaves. I'm gonna snatch every single weave that you have ever known. I like that. Yeah, I'm kind of for it. Kind of for it. I'm just thinking. I've just had an idea. Um, let's go to there. Let's go to here. Let's pull you all the way back to there. Now let's copy you to there. Bring you all the way back to there. And then copy you. And then put you there and bring you all the way back to here. And then what I'm going to do on this side, so it kind of wraps it right around, is do this to about there. And then copy this one over. And this will kind of modernize the barn a little bit with the glazing. What I'm going to try. Um, I think I might have to shorten these. I know that is pure glass, I think, here. I do believe. And then if I can put glass there as well. Do you see where I'm going with that? That will kind of wrap around as a glass panel. First things first. Let's get a roof trim on here. I'm um, probably going to use this one in grey. Mm, maybe not grey. Oh no, it does look nice actually. It, didn't look, it looked really weird then in that light. There, there, there. Oh, I didn't mean for that to do that. Silly bum. Uh, is that right? No, no. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, then this is not looking too big now. I know it is big. It's a huge monstrosity <laughs> of um, a barn, but it will look good, I promise. Hmm. What could I do there? Do you know what I could do there? We're going to try and put... I'm going to try and put a roof in here. 
I've just thought it might work. It might not because of this weird roof line we've got going on here. But I'm just going to try something. Just ever so quietly. Ever so quietly. <laughs> And if I can pull you both in as well, darlings. There we are. There we are, my love. Right, and then pop you up to there. Hmm. Yeah, if I do that all glass, I think that might look better, actually. Rather than putting windows on the inserts. Because I could always open that out and put leaves. Leaves. <laughs> um, Plants in there. Ah, oh, that's going to go downstairs, though. I'm not too bothered about that, but I didn't really want that to happen. Let me see how that looks on the inside, because it might look a bit fugly. I know, it's kind of acting as the spotlight. We will sort everything out, like all that weird trims things that's going on in there, but I don't know, that kind of... I don't know, it's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad, that might change. That might change, but for the minute, I'm keeping it that way. And we'll come back to it. And what I'm going to do with these, like, weird... I can do that now, actually, so we can get a better idea of what we're going for. Um, into short, where's the... There we go, this one. Yeah, if I keep that in white... Oh, I forget, you can't put a fence there, though, once this is up. We'll figure something out. I know what I can put there. I'll put those dividers from Dine Out there. Um, yeah, that kind of... That kind of works for me. I mean, I'm not going to make this area usable up here, I don't think. So it might even be worth me getting rid of that hole. This could be an attic. <laughs> See, this is the this is the problem with building organically. <laughs> is that you end up doing 75 different things? Ooh, kind of kind of there for that. Kind of there for that for the minute. We're going to just keep it that way. I'm just going to block out everything in that wood in here just to get a better feel for things. Right, let's go down to this level and have a look from above. Um, I mean, that needs work. But I don't know, that above a bedroom, a master suite or something, I'm kind of there for it. Kind of there. Right, enough faffing with that. Let's get some more um, glazing done on this barn area. I think this definitely needs to change though. That needs to change for something. I have got some skylights that I've downloaded from Mutsk. But, um, I don't know if they're going to fit in well. Oh, we'll keep them like that for the minute. I'm not fussing around with that too much. Uh, we need to get a trim on you. How did I not trim you? You probably all see me do that. I was like, for God's sake, get a trim on it. Um, okay. Right, we'll come back to that. Come back to that. I'm going to start glazing this area. Do I want... Yeah, I probably want to connect this platform in around here. So I'll do that now. Um, Maybe leaving that panel out there to put a tree in. Yeah, we'll do that as well. All right, let's put you to there. Slap you over to here. And then I'm going to connect this around the front. I probably want to come out more, sort of two tiles wide... I mean, it would be nice to have a area out here they could come and sit, or I could come and sit. So maybe I'll make that platform just a little bit bigger. Um, and to there. And then you in there, my love. Excuse you. Excuse you. Um, and you into there. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think so. And then we'll just bring this all the way down to the side. And I'm definitely think we need to stick with the same stone yeah we do and maybe the same foundation as well oh yeah that's going in the right space that might again might change it might change it might not now we can match in the wooden floor as well because i do have the same uh that looks like it. Oh, no, that is the same colour. Yeah. So we can match in the floor on these little panel bits up here. And then window-wise, I think I'm definitely just going to use the Pilton windows like I've used over here. I think these would probably work the best. What colour, though? The wood looks great. I mean, the black looks good as well. It's like contrasting and blending in with the roof line yeah let's try these right we're gonna put these all along there 
all along here as well. And then we use the shorter ones up here. We have got a shorter Pilton, haven't we? Yeah, of course we have. There we are. Into the darker, my darling. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I don't know if I like them up there. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, I kind of do. Kind of do. Um. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Mouth farts. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it like that for the minute. I'm not unsure on those windows just yet. I don't know if they're working for me. Um. First things first, let's open this up. Why? Oh, no. It's got outside lighting now because of this. Because I took away that hole. Hmm. Maybe we will have to rethink that then. Let's... Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> uh, let's build the ceiling. Oh, remove ceiling? I think it's because I just hammered it out. Right, if I rebuild that... I just need to go in and put a panel on top. God, I wish The Sims 4 was cleverer sometimes. I know it's clever already for coding and stuff, but I just wish it was more intuitive. I really do. I hope they've learned from The Sims 4 to not bring any of the... The sort of crappy bits to The Sims 5. Um, maybe just keeping this roof line over here. I mean, no. <laughs> I think it needs to be flat. Right, I'm keeping that for the minute. I'm going to tweak that off of camera because I could be there for weeks. And we do not want that. At least now they won't have outside lighting in here. We should get a nice bit of light coming in from that part and also down this part as well. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, with these bits over here, I do. I would want an awful lot of glazing coming through, but without getting the um, floor plan down, I think that's going to... I think that's going to be a long, um, a hard thing to do. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off of camera and I'm going to do the floor plan because the floor plan is going to take me ages. And it's just something that I like to do off of camera. It's a bit like when a beauty guru does their eyebrows off of camera. <laughs> well, and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, I think I'll get the floor plan kind of mapped out basically. And then I'll come back and we'll... We'll have a look, shall we? Okay. See you in two seconds. Okay, friends, I am back. Um, I've been gone a lot longer than what you may think because I've walked the dog and changed this around quite a lot. <laughs> so I've probably had like a, an hour and a half break in between recording my last little bit. So what I decided on was I was going to... I put the lighter wood on the front in the beginning and it just wasn't sitting into the build... Well, especially when it, I came over and I was looking at this size and I was seeing the difference between the woods. So I haven't gone for the exact same wood. Oh, no, I think I might have. I think there's one that's slightly warmer. Um, But I just think this looks a whole lot better using these woods. Now, using the dark wood, sorry. Now, onto the inside. I have mapped out a small floor plan. These are going to house two of the smaller bedrooms downstairs. I had in the end i was like do i really want a five bedroom house considering i've got a guest suite over this way and then i was like no so what i'm going to be doing is having these as two sort of they are guest rooms but there's also a big master suite upstairs now i'm going to make a whole episode on the master suite and the master bath alone so i'm not going to be furnishing this um yet nor adding any windows to this part um what i'm going to try and get done today is i'm going to Put the rest of the windows where they need to be for the bedrooms and such. Um, concentrate on connecting this area in and just maybe make a start on the media room. We'll put the media room in and then maybe we can connect that together. And, we can, and then next time I'll make a point of making the master bedroom and the allotment area um, a whole episode. So that will be coming in episode six, I think it is. Um, and then the final episode, when I do come to the final episode, is going to be all about detailing. So then I'll go through for a full episode and we'll just go around the whole lot and just throw in extra details. I think that would be probably a good idea. Or 
yeah, a, a good idea. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, I've put the wood facing this way on this bit just so it kind of follows through the build there. But I'm unsure as to whether I just may as well just change it for all of this way. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter, but I'm I'm feeling it that way. Right, okay. I'm going to get some more earthy tones down. Oh, God, not that one. Earthy tones down in here. I'm going to chuck a couple of trees in this bit here. Let's try and match some in with the surrounding trees around the lot. Will you fit in without sticking through? No, not unless I size you down. Size you down and put you like around there. So you can still see the glass kind of creeping in there. But I don't know. It just still adds for a bit of separation, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Um... Yeah, okay, right. I'm gonna start adding in where I want some of the windows for the spare, uh, for the spare, not the spare bedrooms, but the guest bedrooms and bathroom suites. So yeah, my idea of this was, I didn't even explain myself when I was doing this. This is where the bed is gonna be housed and stuff. Um, through into a walk-in wardrobe and then back into the bathroom area here. So they've got this whole connectivity and big sort of like long space for their bedroom and such. I just thought that might be a good idea. Now I've put wood throughout the whole lot in here. It's probably not going to stay that way, but just so it doesn't distract me too much, I'm going to keep it like that just for the minute. But let's see what windows would work here. I'm thinking like the big boxy windows and from what I have been using, but maybe just mixing it up ever so slightly. I haven't used any of these yet. But they just won't fit on this particular build in my eyes. Um, I love them. They are absolutely gorgeous. These are by, these are by nine, nine, eight, nine. I'll link them in below. I don't know how to say their name. Um, but yeah, these windows are really gorgeous. And they come with all sort of different shapes. And obviously the parts are open and whatnot. But um, I think here we'll use the... Oh, these could be really sweet as well though. They have got a lot of light coming in through this bit here. I'm unsure as to whether I will change one of those windows for a door, maybe. Or even I could do a door on the side. Hmm. No, there's a thought. Where have these gone? Here we are. Because I could do one like here. Do I want it to open that way or the other way? I'd want it to open that way, I think. Like that. Because then they've got an exit out through here then. Yeah, that could work. That could work. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Um... I'm going to get some windows on these bedroom parts. Let's just see what they... Uh, let's just see what they look like. Hmm. Oh, these here. I forget about these. These could work on the barn area. They really could. I would love if they had some taller ones, but... They don't. They all come in the same size. And obviously, they obviously need to be in a different colour. So that's three wide, so... You would go like, oh, I don't like that. Hmm. I mean, it would fit in the middle. Let's just have a little look at that. I'd want one in the dressing room as well, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I still think it needs to be more heavily glazed. I think I'm going to stick with the same windows now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, unless I can think of anything else to do here i mean not really these here are great oh these here would look quite good actually they're three as well so that would fit really nicely like there see that's just a little bit more glazed and bigger i enjoy that a little bit more <gasps> maybe i could stagger them down in size like maybe i could um use that one the bigger one that i've just used there oh where's the finer frames come on uh, this one here for the dressing room and then for the bathroom area I could do like a small slit window let's have a look I actually like that that would work really well on the other side as well we'll keep it like that for the minute and it will all depend as well from what my master bedroom's going to look like with the windows, so in, this might all change. But for the minute, I kind of like that. It does blend in well with the, these windows as well. Whereas the other ones didn't really look the same, if you know what I mean. Right, we'll do it there. And then we'll get in the not-so, whatever it's called, window. Is that in the right spot? 
I know. There, that's why. And then you to there. Oh, I like that. I do actually really like that. It's making me want to change those windows for them. I think I'm just going to try something. We're going to test something out on camera chat. <laughs> My friends. I kind of like these here. Oh. Yes. Yes, I enjoy it, my loves. I won't lie to you. Um, these are three wide, which is just going to be annoying. So that wouldn't work there, which is a shame. Um, I'm not enjoying how that one is clipping into that roof trim. I think it needs to be lower, like around about there. Yes. That's fine. And the same over here. It's a shame that we haven't got a four wide one because I would have definitely put those windows on the front there. I mean, I could even use just the seamless windows there, maybe. I don't know, but I love these windows. I remember seeing these windows actually thinking, oh. Oh. <laughs> remember thinking, oh. Right, there we go. And then you, there, just that default height, you're fine. Oh, I enjoy that. I enjoy that more than these. I mean, there must be a way to make this work here. There must be. Let's test things. Let's test things, shall we, friends? So this is not the one, but this is a two wide. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to use these here because it's just you're losing all of that light. But if I use like this. No, it doesn't give the same effect. I think because that all of that's glass. So I think if I do... <gasps> <gasps> Shock. If I use custom content, I've just had a thought. It may work, and I do believe it will. Where are you? Please don't say that you do not come in a smaller size. Oh, no, they're there, look. I could make my own. In the black, look. Where's the middle? Where's the middle? Where are you? There you are. Right, down this way. Right, it would still give the same effect off. You know? Oh, it's got that blue tint on it, though. That's the only problem with some of Mutsk windows that I really don't like, is that they've got the blue tint on there. Do you see what I mean through these? It just changes it slightly. I prefer them just looking all clear. But I'm going to see past that for this. Oh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I don't know if I can. We're going we're gonna to go with it. We're going to go with it and it might change off of camera. I can't fuss around too much. Here we go. Doop to doop. And that one. And then this one here for the starters. Now, this is all going to have like ivy growing up the barn and stuff as well. I mean, that's not at the same height there. Which is really bothering me. What if I just bring you straight to the floor, love? No, that needs to be up a bit higher. Oh, we'll do that off of camera. We'll do that off of camera. I just want to get this shape in. I really like these windows. Hmm. Bugger it. <laughs> I'm so indecisive, but I'm just like, no, we're going to test things. What if I do use these? I mean, I mean, <laughs> oh, they. the only problem with these windows as well is that they don't come in a bigger height at all, which is a bit shite. Um, oh. What about if I balance it out in the middle? And then up here. I mean, usually they have these areas completely glazed, but let's try and do something a little bit interesting, shall we? It might not be interesting. It might be hideous. But I think that balance is going to work. Yes, it does. Oh, I much prefer that. I'm, I much prefer that. I really do. 
definitely need to come down here with some glazing now. Um, and I think what I'm going to maybe do is do the seamless, seamless, seamlessness. Even though, again, it's got that blue tint to it. Oh, no, I don't like that. No, I'm going to use these. So put it at the height there. Just to make it a little bit interesting. But yeah, I'm glad that we're using these windows in the barn. I really am. Very glad. If I do one... Oh. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Obviously, I'm not doing the windows up here yet because I'm unsure of what the layout of the master f uh, bedrooms are going to be. The master bedroom, even. Um. Oh, look, a penis shape. I've done another penis shape again. Naughty me. Right, okay. I'm going to start building on the media center. Media center. The, like, sort of media room. I do want this to house, like, a home cinema, so. I do want it to be quite large. Maybe, like, that kind of big. And I'd like this to just be a pure square box. But I'm thinking I'm going to bring in a bit more of this roof line over here. So maybe if I do, I mean, let's get, let's get one of the uh, cinema screens in here just to, to sort of reference for size. So it's a six wide. Giggity. Um, okay. I'll put that to there. You to there. And then here, I'm going to open you up onto this side as well. And then my thoughts were maybe I could... I mean, that's going to be open there. Well, it's not going to be open. I could put a door there. But we'll open that for the meantime. Excuse you. Just open. Thank you all. Um, I mean, I do want to connect this in somehow. But I could... Literally... Right, let me go up to there. I could connect this side in through here. This will all make sense in a minute, maybe. Might be a bit fugly for the minute, but I'm just going to do a thing. All right, let's get to you to there a minute. And there. Connect you all in. Why are you not... Ah, oh, it's because of this. It's because of this. I'll just put a full roof on it. All the way along. All the way along. And then down. And then this to there. And then you, my darling, can go all the way to there. And then, well, I know, I suppose that is right because it's outside. Um, and then this bit here is going to be opened. Do I want to close that? No, I might put some little bushes there. And I could do another one of these up here then. Like around there, maybe. Um... I'm going to... I know, I'm not sure what shape the roof is going to be here yet. Right, let's get the roof line on. So, my thoughts were maybe just adding in a roof like so. Let's bring you in and drag both of the sides in as well. So, we've got no overhang on that side. Um, Bring you to there. And then all the way to here. Um, I'm going to have to try and map in the same kind of shape as that roof line over there. I'm going to put some more of that here, I think. Connect it in that way. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Right. Shit the sheets. Right, there we go. This one, right there to there. And there. And then this bit here. Here and here. And there. And then we used the... Um, I can't remember what this... I always forget what this roof trim's called. Angled out that one, but in black. Charcoal black. There we go. Lovely. Right. And then this... Where are you? What did I use? I used that. Okay. Illusion of fence. Let's get the grid on. I'm going to swing you to there. Cut you in sharply to that corner there. Why are you going... Oh. It's because it's in square. There we go. 
to there. I'll go right along. Oh, excuse me. I've got a message. Let me go to there. Yeah, I think so for the minute. And I think with this side. No, I'm not going to overhang it. Nope. All right, let's get that grid off. Colour all of that in. Colour. Colour that in. Um, Inlaid exterior trim. Do I want to go right across there? I think I bloody do. I think I do. Right. Right, then we're going to knock you out. Like so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, and trim wise, we'll stick with this trim. You can go there as well. I'm going to get rid of that white line as well. That was just mainly to map out an area. Right, and then if, as soon as I put the path in here, it should all connect in sort of aesthetically. I think. Should I go side? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. One cheeky little media room. And that's perfect size for this. So now I can go ahead and box that in. Um, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna use, and I probably would want carpet in my media room, and definitely a door. Definitely a door coming in. Why is that so light compared to that? That's weird. Okay, they're saying it's the same color, but I don't believe it is. Somehow, right. Here we go. Lovely. <laughs> um, what door would I put into this room? I mean, this has still got glass in it as well. This door's from Spa Day. It's not CC. I mean, if I use this one, that looks really nice actually there. Yeah, I think so. The only problem is, is that it cuts kind of halfway into the room, the door. Um, I could change the, yeah, I could change it around to be going over this way instead. Now, window wise, I'm going to be very, very minimal on the window here. Maybe just use, play like, respect to that square one that I put on the f back here. There we go. Yeah, maybe just use one of these. Oh, I don't know if I want that shape, actually. I need a more squarer one. Um, let's go into custom content. <laughs> um, where are you? Oh, here you are. Um, I mean, that even might be a bit too big. I mean, that window looks great. It's more thicker than the rest of them, but I think I'm going to use that for some reason. And it's quite frosted as well. And I'll do one on the other side, directly opposite as well. So we can get a little bit of natural light in here. But I would want this room to be, like, completely blanked anyway. Um. Yeah, I think so. And then a little entrance out this way here. So, again, connects out through this whole area. Oop. That needs to change right there, darling. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, and then like a little door here. I mean, I could put a little glass door there. I was just thinking, will that look weird with the spa day door? But it kind of, it's all right. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And I enjoy how this looks with the rest of the house as well. I mean, this is a bit bare bones back here. Yeah, it's a little bit bare. I think I want to try and make that a bit more interesting. And maybe what I could do with that is by using a half wall here and there. How tall are you? You're a bit too short. Where's that window? There it is. Yeah. That one. And then... Uh, I'll, do, I'll do one here anyway. Doesn't really matter, but I'll do one there anyway, just to balance it. Yeah. And then I'll go in and just add the same wallpapers on them. And it just opens up that wall then, stops it from looking completely bare and blank, you know? You know, darling. Right, we'll get one of these on. 
And there. Oh, it did that for me. Lovely. Yes. I'm not going to connect the obviously this area in because I can't because this plant's in the way anyway. But I will put some plants around that area, I think. Uh, and this bit here is going to be the full allotment through this bit. So what I need to do is maybe just start pulling up the terrain a little bit here. Just to map out the area as to what I want. But first things first, I will need to get this platform connected on this side. Or the deck, sorry. Deck. I didn't mean to say deck. I did. Right. Yeah. Do we want a glass moment? Maybe just pull this in one or two and then have a grass moment there. And we'll figure out what we're going to do down there. Because we want this whole area to have a real kind of... Uh, entertaining space to it. So, uh, I need to figure out what we're doing in this area. The only problem is, is these foundations now don't match. But I could not copy the king foundations. I'm not bitter about it, I swear. Um, what are you? I think you're this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if I just pull that one to there. And the same here. Or do we do the concrete on this side instead? Let's have a look. Just there. Oh, it looks weird there now. Nope. We're just going to use this one. See? It copies then. So weird. So very strange. I do it to there as well. No, because that kind of gives that modern extension its own little moment there. So yeah, this is connecting around. Again, this is going to be raised up uh, the train wise because I did take a look back from this road. Like there's a well, this road here and I wouldn't want anybody being able to see right into this sort of area, you know. So I think I'm going to pull the tree line up a little bit more around this area here. especially And this here doesn't matter because this is going to be raised anyway with the allotments on. So what I'll start doing is I'll start pulling the allotments up onto this area here. Um, and then we can detail all of that in the next episode, which will be cool. Let me see how high I want it. Let's get a good it done. It doesn't have to be massively high. Yeah, around about there. Flatten to this height. Now I'm just going to do this really roughly and fast for the minute. Okay, it's going to look a bit weird. A bit weird, especially here. <laughs> it's not on soft at all. Maybe that is a little bit too high. Yeah, it is. It's too high. Too high. Let's go to about there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, I'm going to raise you. Shrink you in. Raise you like so, love. All the way to here. This is going to be... I'm going to soften this a lot more. But this is where all the... My greenhouses would be. I'd love to have like a... Raised up greenhouse level. Um, With maybe... Ooh! I've just thought... Now that this is open... I wonder if I could connect that bit in with stairs somehow. Hmm. Let's try. For science. Um, boop -de boop Let's raise you to like there... I don't know if we'll be able to get stairs up to there. We're going to try anyway. I'll be able to there for sure. Um, let's get to that to there. Come on. Raise up. Raise up. Let me see if I can connect this area in with stairs. That would be interesting if we can. Uh, let's get. Let's use you. All right. Let's get you down. Let's get the grid off. Oh, we can. Yes. Oh, so that's going to flow through quite nicely. I am going to like, uh, like fence all this area in. So. I know obviously you're not going to be able to. This will all be raised up here. And this area here will all be fenced in and smoothed out. And, and I'll put loads of landscaping and everything around. But I think for today, I think I'm going to leave this episode where it is. I mean, it's, it's definitely getting there. 
It really is. There needs to be a whole lot more detail and everything, obviously, around the barn area and such. Um, I'll probably do that off camera. Just put a fence and a few plants and stuff around so we can concentrate then next time on doing the master suite. Finishing off the media room and we'll do all the allotment area as well in the next episode, I think. I think that's the way to go. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming along to part five. I can't remember. Thank you for coming along for this part. We didn't really, again, as usual, don't get a lot done. <laughs> but it's starting to take shape a little bit more now. It really is. And I think as soon as we put loads of trees and everything around and really ground this, this lot, I think it's going to start to come together really nicely. But I am excited about getting the, the barn area finished. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Give me some feedback in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.